What is up, everyone? It's C Camp here, and uh, bringing back some more TJ Christmas. This is gonna actually be episode six now. Gonna be entering week four and five of TJ's sophomore season, and I believe our first game here is against Washington. But of course, we have to take on some practice skills before the big game against a pretty tough team. I believe it's in Washington, so uh, it's gonna be pretty tough. And I'm expecting a good game out of TJ Christmas, hopefully, and we're going to go ahead and start the big game here at Washington, and we are number five in the nation right now. It's We are actually really good this year. Actually, I think we're better than we were last year. Uh, TJ's much better. The old team's much better, so getting a fourth and goal here, actually, now. We're at the one-yard line, and TJ's going to stuff it in for a quick touchdown. First of the game, seventh of the season, I think now. Sixth of the season by now, or some something, something like that. Can't really remember, but now it's seven seven. They're on the board once again, and it, I am chugging this one up the middle, and TJ's taking it for about ten yards, and another first down. So once again, here we're gonna be running a toss play, but from the get go, I didn't think it was gonna work, but yes, it did. TJ can always make things work for another touchdown. And if you were wondering how TJ's doing uh, attributes-wise, he uh, is at a 89 right now as a sophomore. Haven't gotten too many uh, attribute changes at all. I started out as an 86 and I've improved to an 89 so far as a sophomore. 86 in my beginning of my sophomore year, so looking really good so far in this game. And I'm going to talk about something right now about the online dynasty I've, I've made a while ago. It was about three months ago I made it, but... It's been going really well, but people are starting to slack off on games. People have told me I don't want to really be in it anymore. I don't have enough time or something like that. But that basically means you, the fans, if you are interested, as TJ's walking off the field here, but he will be able to enter the game once again near the end of the fourth quarter. But, folks, if you want to just join the league, hit me up with a personal message telling you your PSN name. There's going to be about four or five spots open remaining because the other uh, seven or eight that are in the league right now are actually pretty active. Some of them, uh, so they're all pretty active, I guess. And TJ is going to take this one for his third touchdown of the game here as we blow out Washington. So that's all I pretty much had to say. Please hit me with a personal message. Only PlayStation 3, PSN, if you would like to join the league, I will send you an invite. Once you do, tell me your name. So that's pretty much all I had to say, and DJ Christmas taking this one to the house, as I said. Third touchdown of the game, very exciting. As basically, we're guess, I guess we're just trying to run the clock out, but TJ wants to take these for points, as he's really just trying to get, I guess, some touchdowns here. He's really running the ball well to end the game. So, Washington, for some reason, is calling timeouts. They're giving TJ more chances to run the football. Not a smart idea if you're a... Uh, Washington fan, but yes, we win the game 38-22. to Cardinals are excited. Uh, our TJ's excited as well. So, this was a barn burner for Stanford. This is an average score in the Pac-12 this year for Stanford. As great stats from TJ. 147 yards, 3 touchdowns. Not great receiving-wise, but now heading in to check out the Heisman watch so far. And look who's in the Heisman watch. The sophomore, TJ Christmas. Right behind Ryan Joyce and Henderson as Christmas is in third with a great game. And so great stats already. Seven touchdowns with 597 rushing yards now. So looking at a little bit of our coaching trust, we are a team captain right now. Oh, excuse me, we're an 88 overall, not 89. But we're a team captain right now, and I'm looking to become a hometown hero. So maybe we can achieve that in our next game here as we take on San Jose State, our in Excuse me, yes, in-state rival. So, I didn't know we were rivals when I first looked, uh, when I first joined the Stanford squad, but we've played them two straight years. So, I'm guessing we're some sort of rival because in the beginning when you pick your team and all that, it says in rivalry. So, this is going to be probably a bad game. I'm not really sure, but TJ, come on, man. You just got to show off. I mean, Show off to everybody in Stanford. We're the number four team right now, actually. So, TJ right now taking it for about four or five yards. And he, once again, is going to get the ball here. Christmas up the gut, getting 15 yards for a first down. So, third and one here. Got to convert. Give it to your best player. And we cannot achieve. But TJ Christmas hurries his team up to the line here very quickly. 
and he's going to get in the backfield. We're going to run the exact same play, and this does not look good from the get-go. But being TJ Christmas, he can do some dirty work and get seven yards for a first down. So moving on early in the second quarter, third and inches, another spot for Christmas, and he's going to break this one for about 20 yards up the middle. Christmas actually doesn't get too many long runs. He's not a long running back, but he gets a lot of uh, short plays. But Christmas here not going to convert very well, only one yard on that pass play. As right now he's going to get a pitch to the outside, getting about four yards for a first and goal. And once again, very next play, Christmas up the gut, touchdown Stanford. We're up now 17 to nothing, as here's the instant replay once again. And... Coach is excited. We're at the one-yard line now with 28 seconds to go. Christmas is going to run this one out for about six or seven yards. Excuse me, five or six yards. And Christmas at the half, up 17-0 on their rival San Jose State. So San Jose State is actually in the WAC conference. Just a little info if you didn't know that they were in the WAC conference. They take on teams such as Hawaii, Fresno State, Louisiana Tech. Not a good conference. So that was pretty interesting. Not very relevant to what the Stanford is, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Is Christmas is going to get hit in the backfield. Three men had to take him down to finally get to the ground. So third and eight, you can't convert. Yes, you can. TJ Christmas can get to the six-yard line here. And it's 20-3 to three now. Not a huge blowout, but right, right here, Christmas for his longest run of the season. Actually, he was two yards short of his longest run. His longest run was 80 yards, but this was 78 yards for a touchdown, and Christmas is showing off. Continue your love to Stanford. And this is basically going to be the final score, 27-3, to just showing a little run at the end of the game here. That's going to wrap it up here, and Stanford is now 5-0, and heading in to now will be Week 7. So it's going to be really exciting that we basically have the chance to get to a bowl game on uh, obviously a bowl game but a bcs bowl game and maybe a national championship so great stats here again nine touchdowns on the season we're gonna be upgrading our skills right now as i said before 88 overall i got confused because uh i actually did improve to an 89 here i do end up going to master of everything i did say in the earlier that I was an 89, but now we're an 89. So that's going to wrap up the video, folks. Please do come back as we continue TJ's Christmas's great year as we take on Washington State. So thanks for watching all more vids. We'll come to you soon. See ya.